is now my distinct pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, a former president of the American Osteopathic Association and associate dean of the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine. He is responsible for the development of osteopathic medical education programs for students, interns, and residents at hospitals within the St. John Health System in Michigan. A founder and first president of the Albany Movement in Georgia, he played a pivotal role in the history of American civil rights. In June, his portrait was unveiled at Morehouse College as part of the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Chapel's International Hall of Honor. In addition, he and his wife are co-authors of the book Autobiographies of a Black Couple of the Greatest Generation. Now it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you our keynote speaker, William G. Anderson Dio. Please be seated. You do know we have some time constraints, and I should advise you up front, I am a Baptist. <laughs> In the Baptist church, we do not have clocks, we have calendars. <laughs> well, how long does he preach until he's through? <laughs> this is indeed an honor. I'm so happy to see the leadership of the American Osteopathic Association assemble together all at the same time. I want to commend you for being here. You will even see some in red. I'm also a surgeon, and I'm represented, my college is represented by surgeons in red. Thank you for being here. This idea was conceived several years ago by the late Frank McDevitt. I hesitate to use the word Godfather, but he was our Godfather in the very best sense of the word Godfather. We looked to him for leadership. You know, sometimes I think that Frank talked to God because he did not always share his thoughts with us, did he? <laughs> did he? <laughs> Where's Marcelina Levo? He did not always share his thoughts, even with his closest friends. And I could just imagine that one day, Frank was having a conversation with God, and God was saying, Frank, you have done so much for the profession. And I could hear you asking the leadership of the profession, is there anything I can do for you? And all of the past presidents will remember him coming to you and say, is there anything I can do for you? So God said, you know, Frank, perhaps it's about time that we did something for you. Frank said, oh yeah, that's something I would like. God said, what is it? And Frank took out a map. He said, you know, the osteopathic family really enjoys going to Hawaii. But many of them don't like to travel by air that far. He said, God, could you give us a 12-lane superhighway that goes from the coast of California to Hawaii? And God said, well, well let me look at that map. He said, oh, no, I don't, I don't know, Frank. He says, uh, that's a long ways. He says, uh, that's too far for a single span, and, it, and it's and, and, I, and the ocean is too deep, we can't put pylons down, so I don't think I can do that. Frank then said, well, God, would you do this? You think you could get the osteopathic family together in one place at the same time? <laughs> all of the specialty colleges represented, all of the colleges of osteopathic medicine, the leadership, all of the members of the auxiliary that are now the advocates and our friends and our family, do you think you could get all of them together at one time, in the same place, at the same time? And God thought, and he thought, 
and he thought, he said, Frank, let me see that map again. <laughs> well, well, we did not get the superhighway, but by God, we got the osteopathic family all together in Orlando in 2005 at the Unified Convention. And I think, I think that you ought to stand up and congratulate yourself. Bring the house lights up. Bring the house lights up. You can see us. Where are the house lights? Where are the house lights? Thank you. Thank you. They said it couldn't be done, but by God, we showed them. We showed them. I think there are some other things I should tell you about myself. I am a liberal Democrat. I am pro-choice. I'm anti-war. Not all wars, this war. I volunteered for one of them. I'm a card-carrying member of the American Civil Liberties Union. And also, I am a convicted felon. The last I'm most proud of. Mr. President, I want to thank you for reminding us of who we are, what we are, and what we have become as a profession. I thank you for that. The theme for this year is finding pride in the osteopathic profession. He didn't put the finding in there. I put that in there because sometimes I think it escapes us, the things that make us proud. Now let me give you a couple of illustrations of what makes me proud to be a part of this osteopathic family. Some of you perhaps know that uh, one of my grandsons recently graduated from the University of Michigan. And my son asked him, Gil, ask Frank. No, he asked, you see, I have so many children, can't keep up with all of them. You know how your grandparents used to call all the names of all the children? She got around to them eventually. Well, my grandson, his name is Barrett. He's the son of my oldest son, Gil. And he said to Barrett, Barrett, are you going to apply to the University of Michigan Medical School? He said, wait a minute, Dad. You a D.O., aren't you? Well, yeah. Big Dad is a D.O., isn't he? That's what he called it, Big Daddy. He said, yeah. He said, well, Aunt Dee Dee is a D.O., isn't she? Well, yeah. Uncle Garrett's a D.O., isn't he? Well, yeah. Uncle Frank is a D.O., isn't he? Well, yeah. Aunt Camille is right now our osteopathic medical student, isn't she? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to break the family tradition. I am also going to be a D.O. So he said to me, he said to me, Big Daddy, I want you to come out to the house for dinner after he graduated from the University of Michigan. He says, I've got something I want to show you. I went out to his house. We had a very nice dinner. He says, no, come outside, Big Daddy. I want to show you something outside. And I went out there, and there was his Durango, and it was dirty. I said, your car is dirty as usual. Why don't you give this car back? He says, no, no. Come around behind the car, Big Daddy. And I went around behind the car, and again, it was dirty. He said, no, no. Look down below, Big Daddy, and there it was, a vanity license plate that said D-07, D-07. He was proud to say, I am the seventh osteopathic physician in the Anderson family, and so proud to be a part of this family. People, for those of you who have not experienced pride, that's pride. 